the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. My name's Abro Gabriel Ajeni. I'm from Marco region, Solid Rock Group, Calvary District. I want to testify to the goodness of God, of what God did for me at the last April program. Though I was not present here, far away in Kogi State. Uh, far back uh, 2013, thereabout, I have a dislocation and I had a, a span problem. Since then, it has been up and down, up and down. Most of my pastors that are closer to me, they knew about it. The first of all that happened, I was rushed to this hospital in Javi here. I spent a lot of money. And the second one was to the National Hospital. After that, the most challenge is when the contract is coming on my way, that is when the problem will start. After the contract, all the money I had will be spent on the problem, and then the, pro the problem will go on its own. But we kept praying by the grace of God, and the end was last April. Praise the Lord. It happened, I got married on March this year, and uh, I told my wife, sincerely, I could not sleep on the mattress. And uh, after the wedding, he was sleeping, she was sleeping with me on the floor. I was, I was like, which body? Then it is. How long will she carry this problem? It was a pain on me, but she kept encouraging me that the Lord will do it. But after the program, the first day of the program, I kept leaving God. The second day, which is one. The Lord, I couldn't come out to share the testimony. I said, let me go home. The ordinary the rubber mat I was using, I removed it. I couldn't tell her. We I joined her on bed. The following day, nothing happened. The third day, nothing happened. The second day, nothing until on Sunday, praise the Lord. And after the program on, on Tuesday, the pastor in the district church there said, everybody must share testimony. And I came out to share the testimony. I am telling you, from that day up to date, I can sleep on mattress. Nothing happened to me. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just last April, God did it for him, and he will do your own. Expect your own miracle. God will do it in Jesus' name. The next testifier. My name is BC Amen. I'm uh, from uh, Everly Highway District, Solid Drug Group, Lube Region, Abuja. I bless the name of the Lord for what He has done in my life. He's in respect of my job, where I have job, I have promotion and increase in my salary. Praise the Lord. His story is soaring above. After the program, I'll be praying for many years. Since 2012, no increase, no increase in my salary. We discovered that many of my colleagues were placed or stood up instead of promotion, instead of salary. But I bless the name of the Lord. After the program in the choir session here, a sister shared a testimony with us that we need to continue to serve the Lord. That when the uh, when he participated in the choir session in one of the congress two years ago, God remembered her that we should continue. I key into him. And in my swearing above prayer request list, I put it there that, oh God, remember me for good. Oh God, remember me for good. Praise the Lord. Barely two weeks after swearing above program, I, I was on leave. A colleague of mine called me. He said, ah, have you checked your mail? I said, no, that is my official mail. I said, okay, I will check it. He said, ah, something has happened. I said, hey, amen. So when I checked my official mail, I saw the letter of promotion and I saw the increase in my salary. This is the Lord doing. So I'm in a book, God did it for me. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! The Lord remembered her for good. And today, God will remember you for... He will remember all of us for good. And you will get your promotion. You will get double promotion. Multiply blessing for you in Jesus' name. We'll listen to the last one for now. 
And at the end of the administration, there will be many more. Many more. Many more. Amen. Yes. Praise Let's start the, the next. Praise the Lord. I'm uh, Brother Nathaniel Ajiboye from Lagos. I came specially for this program because of the testimony of what the Lord did in my life last week, Sunday, at the combined service in Bagada Church. Praise the Lord. First and foremost, I want to appreciate God for the salvation of my soul. Since um, 2005, the Lord has been keeping me and I've been standing. And I pray God will keep me the more to stand for him in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, I've been sick, I've been down. And um, during the Sunday service, I, when I go to the church, Bagada Church on Sunday, I think I was the fourth person who, whom I saw on this uh, ground uh, gallery, the ground floor. So I sat at the front chair. I was very weak, headache, high temperature, and so many. So I sat there. But before then, I went to the toilet. I had to cut tissue paper. I almost finished the tissue papers there to, for my running nose. So while the program was going on, I sat there. I was just looking at the GS one-on-one, -on -one, just sighting my eyes on him, looking at him, looking at him that today this team was good. But you know what? During the service, the temperature came, and where I sat, even the security brother who sat very close to me, he knew that I wasn't too strong. I was shivering. Immediately after the service, that day rain fell. Coupled with the rain, the cold was very much on me that the headache was as if my head wants to come down. But I thank God because God healed me. After the program on Sunday, Jesus prayed. And that prayer had a very great and big impact in my life. And then I took it upon myself that I will be here to testify to the goodness of the Lord. And by the grace of God, the cough and the headache and the temperature, everything is gone. Everything is gone. And also, um, before I came here, my wife and my children, they are also sick. In fact, they went to the hospital yesterday. They were admitted and um, I prayed for them and I told them that today, that sickness is going away because I'm coming for this Divine Connection pro program. As I got in at the entrance there, I discovered that that cough went, the hotness and Marvin has gone. Even I called my, my wife and the children, they are fine right now at home, no more in the hospital. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Uh, God of miracle is working the miracle. Amen. The God of miracle in Lagos. And he's testifying here in Abuja. And the man of God, God used over there in Lagos, is here with us to be used again for your own, for your own. God will touch you. God will bless you. And as God is own, the family also, everyone in the family, God the needed miracle. So God is a God of miracle. He's here with us with his power. God is here with us with his anointing. He's here with us with his miracle, mighty working power, and he will touch you. The Lord will touch you. There will be divine connection, and there will be flow of power into your life, and there will be a flushing away of every negative thing in Jesus' name. A bigger amen. Remember, who is to be the next testifier? Let me see your hand up. Who you will be the next testifier in Jesus' name. A bigger amen. We are getting closer to the climax of tonight's program. The time of the outpouring of the power of God. The time of divine connection. The time of the flow of the heavenly power into your life. Get ready. Get connected. 
and get your miracle. For now, let's have the choir.